Greetings from fashionable Miraflores in Lima, the capital of Peru. Now I'm sure some of you are acquainted with the DNA testing that we've been working on for a number of years now, but what you probably don't know is how complicated the process is. I know I've had people send me emails and say, well, I had my DNA tested and it was actually quite simple. It took about a week and cost me $99. Well, the difference between you and the ancient Paracas people of Peru is you're alive and they've been dead for 2,000 years. Now DNA starts to break down as soon as you die. So over the course of 2,000 years, the DNA has broken down so much that it's almost indistinguishable from nothing. So there are only 10 laboratories in the world that can do ancient DNA testing. We contacted all 10 and only got a response from three. But we do have those three laboratories which we are now working with. Also the cost that's involved. This process will cost about $50,000 and we're working with the Ministry of Culture in Peru to do this. We were able to do initial testing of samples, a small number, from three or from a private collection in Peru. I contacted one of the directors of one of the large um, museums in Peru and asked her if exportation of samples from a private collection was a problem. She said none whatsoever because we don't know what the provenance is. And the provenance is where are the samples from, when were they collected, and who collected them. So the initial results we got were that they were very intriguing. All Native American people who are pure-blooded or were pure-blooded are supposed to have a haplogroup or haplogroups, which is your ancestry, of A, B, C, or D. And the initial results from the practice were neither or not any of A, B, C, or D. They indicated ancestry from Europe 2,000 years ago. Now, of course, that shocked us. Therefore, 30 months ago, that's 3-0, we went to the Ministry of Culture and said we would like to conduct major DNA testing of the ancient Paracas again 30 months ago. The number of hoops we had to go through was huge. We needed the whole study to be uh, under the directorship of a bona fide and major Peruvian archaeologist, which we got. We had to get bona fide labs, which we got, three of the top ten in the world. And so now, after 30 months, I'm happy to say that samples from 21 Paraca skulls, and that's about, uh, in total, 70 plus samples are now in the United States and will be processed by three laboratories. One laboratory will do the extraction, another laboratory will do the processing, and the third laboratory will do the actual analysis. The results will then be sent to an independent Genet <coughs> excuse me, geneticist for uh, his or her analysis and then results will be given to the public. Those that wish to have it peer-reviewed can contact us and that can be arranged and those that contributed the 7,000 US dollars to the initial testing uh, you of course will be getting everything. You'll be getting all of the results what I must tell you is that $7,000 was sent to a geneticist in the United States whose uh, last name begins with a K and she wound up giving us absolutely nothing for those $7,000. But be assured, the major DNA testing is now underway and thank you for your patience. Uh, for those who are critics, go ahead.
Thank you.